What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team and Unfiltered. Now, I've been collecting different videos and moments from the Love Island USA Season 6 cast. Congratulations to Serena and Cordell. They won Love Island USA Season 6. For their win and since their win, I've been providing little updates here and there about them. So if you're new here, or you've been here supporting but you missed those videos please click some of the links in the description below to catch up on them or if the links are not in the description below please visit the love island usa playlist that i have on this channel to watch those videos now while the girls and the guys been having fun there's one person who's been absent from majority of the meetup and the fun and it looks like she's probably back home visiting her family and she's not here or you know she's been home before the girls and probably went back to work or things like that but it's Liv. Liv's been missing from the action but she did do a Q&A so let's get into Liv Q&A and then after her Q&A Janae Boo uh, Kenny was on Twitter space and he also has some things to say about their time in the villa their relationship him going right back to work and all of that so let's get into it hey guys i'm doing a q a so ask me whatever you want to know i'm gonna be at the reunion i'm just back home visiting my family waiting on my visa but i'm so excited to see everyone because i miss them so so much my favorite thing about the love island villa was definitely the friendships i made going into it i didn't think i would come away with such good friends and then i also loved the challenges i loved all the costumes we were in and i loved just like not knowing what was about to go on i'm still adjusting to life outside of the villa the villa was my norm for a couple of weeks so coming out it was a little overwhelming and definitely a change but i've got some really exciting things coming up and i can't wait to share them with you guys I would say I am a slow burner, maybe because I have wars up and it takes me a little while to get to know someone fully. And obviously in the Love Island Villa, things move quite quickly. I did turn to Serena a lot for like support and advice because I feel like we're similar in that aspect. But I can't fake anything and I don't want to lead someone off. I have definitely given my thoughts on the relationship on my TikTok, especially after watching Casa. I'm so supportive of my girl Kayla. I love her to bits and I want the best for her. But in terms of answering that question, I think I'm going to have to tune into the reunion. Okay, from baddies, my favorites would have to be, I have a few, but the top would have to be Stunner, obviously, Tommy, Krishan and Tasiki. I was actually approached last year to go on Love Island, but I was living in Miami, I was going away, and it just wasn't the right time in my life. So when they reached out again this year, I was kind of more suited for it, and I just gave it my all in all my interviews. I just stayed true to who I was, and next thing you know, I ended up in Fiji. <laughs> I absolutely love Cordell. I think he has such a cool vibe. We were really good friends in the villa. We did fit checks every night. Like at the end of the day, you see 10 seconds of like a 24 hour day. So even though it wasn't captured, I love that guy and we are good friends. Okay, I don't know if this is a funny story between Hannah and I, but when I had to recouple up with Hakim, I was thinking so many things. I couldn't get my words out and I completely forgot his name that I turned to Hannah and I was like, Hannah, who am I coupling up with? I've forgotten his name. And she was like, what? And I was like, what's his name? I've forgotten it. And she's like, Hakim. And I was like, oh my God, if Hannah wasn't there, I would have stood up and literally been like, I would like to couple up with that guy. I think that was a weird comment to make, like no islanders tell each other who they can and can't go for and Miguel's the sort of guy that will go for what he wants. So I think some things are better left unsaid. Thank you so much for all your questions. I love you all. I'll be answering some more tomorrow. And speaking of fit checks in the villa, Cordell did post this video doing a fit check. Liv reposted it, but of course he's blasting copyrights music that you know match his movements and everything he's doing but this was his latest fit check video you know he had to go away for a few days to be with family but serena did say that the both of them will be reunited very soon and that she's moving and have a lot going on but that once she's you know moved in and all of that she will be back providing content to her followers so that's what she posted today but okay come through fit check Hey guys, 
I've been very slow with content and I'm so sorry. I'm moving into a new apartment and doing all these interviews and I haven't had a moment to like sit and breathe, but I will answer all of your questions. I will show you how I kept my braids up, make a tutorial, show you guys how I do my lashes, all that once I'm like settled. I'm not even like moving. I haven't even unpacked from the island. Like it's crazy. And my voice, don't know if it'll come back guys. I haven't shut up for 10 weeks. Probably won't shut up anytime soon. Um, my voice is raspy, but it's usually not this bad. And my man will be back with me very, very, very soon. So we'll have a lot coming up. Love you. Now let's get into Kenny and Twitter space. For those of you who are not on X, formerly known as Twitter, this is basically like it's not a video, but you can hear what they're saying. I will be cutting some parts out because he is in there with their supporters. There's a lot of background noise, multiple people talking, and it got a little distracting. So I'm going to be cutting some parts out just so this can flow smoothly. Let's get into it. Hey, fight back. I can't, bro. She here with PPG. That's the crew. That's the gang. What I'm going to do? What oh, are you going to do? Catch a flight, flight, Kenneth. Catch a flight. It's what, three, four hour flight? Not even. No, nah, we're on the street. She, she's going to come visit me soon. Oh. One of these days. Yeah. So no 10 days? It hasn't even been 10 days. I think, I think she's going to visit me on the 12th day. I think. On the 12th, no. Kevin, how are you going to survive? We're going to be up. We're, I'm going to get her in a rodeo fit. You're going to see her with boots. And yes, her. yeah. Bro, and and up. I couldn't post on, on Insta because I, I my Insta's been down twice now. It's crazy. The day we were we, fighting for you. We the, were fighting for you. The day we went to Universal, I, I, had, no, I had nothing. So they, they're playing with me for real, for real. You know what? You guys just need to like post like on TikTok and stuff. Like everybody's yeah, over there. TikTok is where yeah, TikTok is where is that? Yeah, but nah, I appreciate y'all. Yo, this is crazy. This is day like five out of the villa. This is day five. How, this is wild. I appreciate y'all. Of course, we were we were always here, like supporting you guys since day dot. Like doing the most to like get you guys that win and. We tried. Uh, man, we, we, we were all winners at the end of the day, but I'm not going to lie. I was shocked to come in third. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not throwing no shade at none of the couples. Those are my guys. Those are my girls. But yes. I'm not going front. Man, Clown, you were shocked too. You know, we were shocked too. Me and Nene, by the end of that, we we were strong. We're still, we we, we great. We're, we talk every day. We talk in the morning and the night. How are you adapting into like your real life now, like going back home? I start I start working tomorrow, so are you we're excited? gonna see how things go. How things, you know, two month the two month break is kind of crazy, but we're we're trying to get on being the first Love Island man to go back to your job. yeah. We're so happy. <laughs> we're so proud of you, Kevin. I low key think I might be the only one with like I guess they're models and shit. I don't do any of that. I like I have <laughs> not five. I'm at, I'm at a de I'm at a desk. <laughs> exactly. That's the real men job. We right love there. that. We love we the love business that passion that, that you were serving. All we love real men. We love real men. No fun. Yeah. You just were trying to drive. Elbow patches. Congratulations. <laughs> they were making fun of me on it. I heard the host. He was like. Kenny bringing back like elbow patches into the fashion. I was like, why is he flaming? Me, <laughs> he had, he had, that was so I cute. like that. They were shirt. cute. It was so cute. It was so like, good. He was cute. giving, I mean, clothes. It's fine. We like, loved bro, every like, single one of your like business casual fits. Like, it was so good. You were the very well dressed in the entire show. I don't care what damn, anyone says. Like, preach. You were appreciate fun. that. I just I I need to I don't have really street I don't really have streetwear or casual when I go out I just like to go out looking sharp like exactly. tucked in mm -hmm. exactly you know, that's belt, the way to go it's very Dominican of you you care about your appearance it's extremely Dominican yes true true <laughs> that is but you me. know what I, I have to just... say one thing thank you so much for giving the men of our country a good name because the way the way. Leo last, year, in the Leo last year put up. Leo. <laughs> they were like, Dominican men are trash. Here comes Kenneth. 
a gentleman. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kenny. Please. I tried, man. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm not emotional, but like mm-hmm. that moment, they, they were killing me up there. I was just at a loss yeah, we, of words, yeah. and then she said she was out of there. No, nah, no, nah, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> we need insight though. Did you actually Wait, cry? Ask, did you no actually way, cry the whole night? I got yes. fucked up. No, nah, it was hard. Even the next day, like Rob in the morning, Rob and I were in the shower and he was like, Bro, it's gonna be all right. I've been through this shit already. Like life is good right now. Like we're just here. We're here. We're at the top of our lives. And I'm like, Thanks, Rob. Like if anyone knows shit, it's Rob. Right. Wait, wait, wait. How did you get back? Like, what was that conversation like? Um, so there was, there's actually tea that they didn't put on the show. Um, so oh, so okay. I don't even know if I'm supposed to drop, but I'm gonna tell y'all anyway. So okay. when I so after the recoupling, right? Um, I in the morning I wake up, I look through the drawers. One of my shirts is ripped. And I had left Janae before I left the casa. I left her two of my shirts. She wears my shirt sometimes to bed. And I sprayed my cologne on it just so she could have something. Like, as for when I go to casa, she has something of mine, right? And then when I came back, the shirt was ripped. And I thought she had ripped the shirt. Um, But I didn't know. And it ended up being Josiah that ripped the fucking shirt. Whoa. So I I told all the guys like, yo, because I, I told all the guys, yo, it's Janae. Janae ripped the shirt. She's mad. I get it. You know, I fucked up. It was so bad. And I was like, the least I could do, I'm just going to keep it moving. Like, I'm going to make breakfast for for both of them. Also, they, they showed me just giving it to Kat. I made breakfast yeah. for both of them. Yeah, we, yeah, we, 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 we were just yeah, so, sabotage you, can't lie. And yeah. so then, and then, and so then, she was just surprised that I, that I gave um, her breakfast that morning, knowing that I was thinking that she ripped the shirt. But I was just like, it ain't that big of a deal. So she, she, she kind of settled that. But she was kind of surprised that I still just went about business like that. And I think that's when she was like, "Oh shit!" Like he kind of does. He maybe he does realize he fucked up. No. I have a question. Um, so like it was like when you and Janae were like going back and forth, like up by the like terrace area, and you said something like, Oh, um, you're like, Oh, you told me and then but Janae kinda like cut you off. What did you if you remember, what did you mean by, by that? Mm, I don't remember. remember. You told me what? When when like was that? You if you got the, 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 yeah. the conversation you guys had, you were like Oh, you told me, but then they cut you off. <laughs> yeah. It looked like you guys had like a conversation prior to Casa, and that's why you acted the way you acted. The last like, did you guys talk me. about like still being open and stuff? Yeah. We thought you guys were together for three days, but it's actually five days, right? Uh, before mm-hmm. Casa. Yeah, it was like five days with like a break day in between. So it was like six days. Oh, you guys had like break days oh. when they would separate you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were those days, yeah. Oh, okay. I know that. Yeah. All right, though. I just wanted to hop on and say, you know, thank you guys. And I just wanted to talk to y'all because I I don't really be active like this. But I just wanted to talk to y'all and just let y'all know I'm here and I see everything. And I be like, so while they wait to reunite for now, Janae is sharing, you know, some of their personal messages through twitter now known as x so she posted this one right here with that caption and then missing him already with them on facetime together so yeah there you have it i'm wishing all of you well and take care thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn notifications so when i do post you where i post it and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless you.